it's kind of funny because if you could see the rest of my craft room, you would know I don't really need more stuff. I mean, I will use it. I will use it for projects and I will use it for work, but I'm sitting in an abundance of craft supplies. So I feel a little bit selfish having this much stuff, but I keep saying it's for work. I can write it off, right? <laughs> All right, so here is my huge box of consumers craft goods. And I was thinking ahead for a lot of my projects. So some of these are supplies that I won't need until like November uh, or December, but you know what? I, I'll have it on hand and then I won't have to worry about it later. And it was so cheap. All right, so the first thing I got, Consumer Crafts has so much good stuff. Um, this I found on their website. It is a laser cut raw wood sign that says give thanks. And I think this is probably gonna end up on our front door sometime this fall. And raw wood projects, I got a ton of them because they are, I think they're better than a blank canvas because you can stain them, you can paint them, you can use watercolors. Um, I think they're really, really versatile. And let me see how much I paid for this bad boy. Um, oh, it doesn't give prices on the receipt. Mm, oh, well, you wouldn't be able to pay what I paid anyway because it was on sale. But I think it was like $3 or $4. So it was super duper cheap. Oh, no, it broke. <laughs> that is the one thing that is bad about the laser cut stuff is it's pretty thin. And so you have to be careful how you store it. I had a Halloween sign and it broke too. It was cool. That one was cool because it said something wicked. So it was a Shakespeare reference. Oh, let's see. What else is in here? All right. This is one of the things I bought for my mom. Say hi, mom. Their church will have a dinner coming up. And last year for their women's group, she did a bunch of leaf cutouts that she, were they already chalkboard? Or she painted them chalkboard and then she wrote Bible verses on all of them. And we couldn't find them. Hi, mom. Um, we couldn't find the exact same thing this year, but these were on Consumer Crafts and they are three inch by three inch leaves. And we can spray, yes, this is all from Consumer Crafts website. I don't think they have brick and mortar stores. I think, okay, they were little chalkboard e easels. Um, I don't think Consumer Crafts has any brick and mortar stores. I think they're just the website, which is probably part of why their stuff is so inexpensive. Um, okay, so these we can paint with like the spray paint, chalkboard paint, and which will take no time. And we can use those for her church dinner. We got 60 of these, I think, and they were like 27 cents a piece. And it will look really nice on the tables for the church dinner. I just don't know if my mom has thought ahead to writing out Bible passages on 60 different <laughs> place cards, but that's her problem, not mine. Um, let's see, what else do we have in here? Oh, let's, let's get both of my mom's things out of the way while I'm in here. Um, my parents' group of friends do you have to seal them after spray painting them? If it's chalkboard paint, you can't because then, then you won't be able to write on them with chalk anymore. Uh, and chalkboard paint is really easy to use. You can get the brush on kind or the spray paint kind. If you are doing um, acrylic paint and you want them to, let, I don't think you would need to finish them no matter what you use, unless you wanted like a glossy finish, then you would want to put a finish on them. But otherwise you shouldn't have to. Um, so back to what I was talking about, my mom and dad's group of friends refers to themselves as the dinosaurs for reasons I won't get into here. And so we got a whole bunch of these wood cutouts and, um, I'm not sure what her plans for those are, but I'm sure it'll be really cute. And I don't also don't want to spoil the surprise any more than I have because I know some of them are probably watching right now, but they're these really cute little dinosaurs. Yeah, any questions you have, you can ask whenever, and I I will help you as much as I am able to. All right, so we got, Mom, did we get 24 of those? I'm not going to count them right now, but that looks about right. And those two were, <laughs> because they're old. They're so old. Um, they were really cheap, too. I think they were only a couple dollars for a dozen. That's not right, $2 a dozen, something like that. 
again, the sale was ridiculous. I would not have spent this much money if the prices weren't incredibly, incredibly low. All right, next. Ooh, they've put two things in one here. Um, I discovered alcohol inks like two years ago, and I'm not a multimedia crafter. There are some people that do fabulous things with mixing media and mixed media projects, and I don't do that. But I really like alcohol inks for what you can do with them on both absorbent surfaces like paper and non-porous surfaces like ceramic or glass. And so I have an idea that I'm going to have to work on this weekend because I need to post it on Tuesday, I think, for um, a mason jar craft using these colors of alcohol ink. And it will be sort of along the lines of the stained glass Easter eggs that I made last year, uh, but pumpkin-y. So you can look for that next week. All of next week, Monday through Friday, on my blog, I will be posting mason jar crafts. I am joining up with a group of, I think, three or four other really awesome bloggers. And every day we are each going to post our own fall-inspired mason jar craft. So make sure you come visit me next week to check those all out. And I think I have it scheduled for Tuesday that I'm going to be doing this project. And while I'm in here, speaking of mason jars... Wow, these are bigger than I thought they were going to be. I got these. Ooh, Nelly, they are taped. I'm just going beast mode on it. All right, here we go. I got these huge mason jars. I honestly did not think they were going to be this big. They are like black mercury glass mason jars. They don't come with lids. Um, but look how pretty. Can you see... That they're kind of translucent and then they've got that inside. I'm hoping to do some kind of a luminary craft with these. Man, those are even prettier than I thought they were going to be. I'm really excited about these. I got, oh, uh, looks like four of these. I believe they were like $2 a piece, $1.50. Dude, it was ridiculously cheap. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. Keep watching. You'll find out later. Um, looking ahead even farther. Oh, there's some more of the leaves, Mom. Looking ahead even farther, I'm starting to think of what I want to do for my Christmas decorating this year. And I have been doing a lot of plaid for the past couple of years because I love plaid all the time but I especially love plaid around Christmas. And I like to add a couple of things to our decor every year. And this year, I think I'm gonna try and do a lot of wood tones, whether it's raw wood or stained wood. So I'm going to be thinking out how I want to incorporate that sort of cozy cabin, yay Christmas, um, wooden, elements in with plaid because that's a pretty easy way to combine two two things that I like. Uh, would you be doing the mason jar craft with food dye and Elmer's glue? I am not. I have not tried that myself. Um, there is something called Mod Podge Tints, Mrs. Nelman, and I think you can um, buy those at like Michael's or Joanne. And that is a pre-mixed formula that it's, it's a version of Mod Podge and you can pour that or paint that onto glass and it's supposed to be more opaque. I, anything with, with like food coloring and, um, it, it just, it isn't going to be as opaque as you want it to because that's not what it's meant to do. So those projects, I think you, you have to put more layers on than sometimes the Pinterest will Pinterest pins will say that you need to put on. Um, but that would be my suggestion to check out the um, that Mod Podge tints. And I'm not sure that's the name of it. I will research it when I'm done and I'll I'll let you know what it's called. All right, so back to Christmas. I found these super cute itty bitty laser cut wood snowflakes. 
and I got a couple of packages of those because again they were super cheap and I think these are going to make good embellishments for a wreath or I can even use them as ornaments and I may just leave them as they are. I might not paint them or stain them or anything. I just might leave them as raw wood and I think they're really pretty. I actually was thinking they were going to be a little bigger than this. I'm a little disappointed. That's user error though. I wasn't looking at the size very well. But they are really cute about, let's see, about one inch, one and a half inch snowflakes. So I got those. Something free. <laughs> nice try, Mom. Um, I also bought this. I told you I got lots of unfinished wood things. Um, yes, you're right. Those snowflakes would be really good uh, on pretty presents, like with a hand-tied ribbon and then one of those wooden snowflakes. That would be really nice. I got this little, it's basically like a little palette. I have an idea for a sign that I would like to make, and this would kind of be the prototype for it. I made a t-shirt a couple of months back now already um, that I wore to a local beer festival that was the lower peninsula of Michigan and it said I like beer from here and we have a shop in a nearby town that sells crafts by local artisans and I thought that might be something that people locally would want to buy so I um, I decided that I would buy a small version of a pre-made palette and use that as the prototype and then if I like it if I think it turns out well then I might recruit my dad into helping me physically make the signs because this was this was cheap I think this was like four or five dollars but it would be even cheaper to make it ourselves so um, this is gonna be my prototype and then we'll see where we go from there but this is a Doris project or product and Doris makes really good stuff a lot of these things are by Doris um, so if you aren't handy with woodworking, but you like those wooden signs, you can buy these and then do the painting and the decorating yourself if you don't have the tools to do it. Let's see. I'm getting down to the bottom of the box. Finally, I've got, yeah, I think just one more item and this is thinking ahead to Christmas gifts for probably my kids' teachers. They had, and this was $3.50. $3.50. I remember because it made that much of an impression on me. Look at this. Barnwood cross. Isn't that gorgeous? It's even got a bevel, so it's got an inset. And this is going to be perfect. I will probably, probably just stain it. Um, but I may actually do some like maybe a Bible passage on it. I'm not sure. I got some of these. My mom got some of these and I was just, I could not believe the price. This would have been way more expensive anywhere else. So I think we got five of these total. I think that's it guys. I'm, I'm really happy that you stuck with me through this whole long haul. Um, like I said, it was about $25 worth of Halloween goods at Dollar Tree, and then all of that consumer craft stuff was $57. It was less than $60 before shipping. That's the only thing about consumer crafts. You have to buy a lot to get to their free shipping level. So if you're used to Amazon Prime, you're going to be you're going to be eating it a little bit on um, the shipping costs. I think it was $10 to ship this. I mean, it was a big box, so it makes sense. Um, but I'm really used to Amazon, so I'm used to free shipping, so that always hurts a little bit. But anyway, make sure that you are following me for next week, all of those mason jar crafts. I'm going to have a couple of decorative crafts. I'm going to have a couple of recipes in mason jars, and everything is fall themed. So if you are ready for cooler weather and no more of this cicada humidity nonsense then uh, you can start getting ready for fall with me next week yes it is consumercrafts.com that's the name of the website and I will link that below too and then again the Dollar Tree 
everything's hit and miss. Every store has a little bit different stock, and sometimes it changes. Like right now, they have a ton of Halloween stuff, but I bet you in about three weeks, well, maybe that's cutting it. But in a couple of weeks, they're going to start getting that all out of there for fall, and that will be there for two seconds, and then they will have all their Christmas items. So you have to kind of be checking in frequently if you don't want to miss any of this stuff. Um... Here live or on your site. For the mason jar crafts, that will be on my website, maddencrafts.com. But I always post links to my new tutorials here on my Facebook page. So if you follow me here, you should be able to get updates on everything. If Facebook doesn't decide that you can't get my, my updates because they're always changing everything. Uh, any other questions that you have before I finish up with this Facebook Live? Thank you guys so much for watching. I was kind of nervous about this. I'd been putting off doing a Facebook Live video for a while, and um, I'm glad I finally have one under my belt, so I don't have to be nervous about it anymore. Uh, I don't see any questions in the comments. Uh, if you have any other ones, I can always answer them later. I can keep checking this post to see if you have any other questions for me. I will probably be downloading this video and throwing it up on YouTube if you aren't a follower, a subscriber on YouTube already, my channel is youtube.com slash user slash Madden Crafts, and I do weekly video do tutorials. Sometimes I will post two a week, depending on how ambitious I am and how noisy the children have been during the week. So make sure you follow me over there, too, for lots of this kind of stuff. I didn't gersh. I think you may have missed me doing a little bit of gershing at the beginning of the video. Um, thank you again for watching and make sure you visit me over on my blog, maddencrafts.com. Bye.